I'm going to go ahead and transition over to usually the north side of Chicago, but this weekend it happened to be in London, England uh, for the big London series against the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, we talked a little bit last week about the previous London series, and it was kind of hard to remember. It was back in 2019 between the Yankees and Red Sox, and I really despised both those teams. So I wasn't paying too much attention, but the one thing I, I did recall from it was how ridiculous the the field was and how many runs were scored in just two games. I think they had 50 runs scored total yeah, in two, two games. Uh, they were able to address that in London Stadium, home of the West Ham United Hammers. Uh, <laughs> they, they, able, they were able to push back the seats a bit, so center field was at least a more reasonable depth. The field played pretty pretty well, actually, and it looked it, they did a good job of kind of filling in the dead areas with stands. It looked like a baseball field this time, a lot more so. There's still tons of foul territory, but overall, it looked and it played much more like a, a regular major league ball field. Uh, there's only 22 runs scored over the two games this weekend, so it's been, <laughs> yes, a little more a little more reasonable. Cut it in half, a little over half. Yeah, so that, that part worked out well. The, they were complaining quite a bit about how bouncy the, the turf was, which Ooh. I hadn't run into. And I, I it was definitely making a difference because any kind of ground ball was was just skipping through the infield or wherever. So it was a little bit different. But overall, I think it worked really well. You know, they had 50,000 plus people there for each game, which is pretty impressive. I think a lot of those people were from Illinois and Missouri. Uh the, the British, it's hard to tell how many British people are actually there or Europeans traveling to, to go see this spectacle. But I think a, a lot of it was was locals from the U.S. Uh, yeah, I kind know of someone who was there. Oh, do you? Really? Yeah. Dave was Wachowski, who's that ex the ex Tribune reporter. Who oh, that's I right. Work with now. He went out there for the to see his Cubs play. That, that would be a fun trip. I, I, I mean, I love London, so that, that would be a blast. I'd, I'd be up for that. I don't know when the the Cubs will be up in London again because it sounds like they're rotating the schedule. It's going to be Philadelphia and I think the Mets next time, and then there's yeah. some some kind of series in Paris coming up soon. I think that's the Yankees, probably Red Sox. Again. Is it going to be played on clay? Yeah, possibly. Like yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> the. The novelty was was fun. Uh, certainly, game one was fun as Justin Steele shut down the Cardinals. Holy shit! I watched some of it, man. Don't yeah. mean to cut you off, but like he was just fucking. He was dealing. dealing. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, Ian Happ actually was uh, the only one that was really taking advantage of the little bit smaller outfield dimensions. He had two home runs in that game, so that was nice. A, a very easy nine nine to one victory. Game two was a little bit different story. First of all, it started at 9 a.m. your time, uh, 10 a.m. here, but um, it was rather, I don't know if it was, you know, the body clocks not not working right, but just a bizarre game, actually a bizarre start to the game. Cubs got off to a 4 nothing start, and it looked like they were going to be cruising with Marcus Stroman on the mound. And then the game got Mancini'd, as I'd like to call it, as Trey Mancini still manning first base for God knows who, why anymore. Just completely botched a play. A very simple routine grounder to second that he tried to field himself briefly uh, from first base, realized he had made a, a terrible error already, Scram tried to scramble back to first base, didn't quite get there. The toss came to him. He tried to barehand it. He dropped that, of course, ended up leading to three runs and uh, the whole momentum of the game shifted. The Cubs ended up losing five, uh, seven to five. So, I mean, the three run error when you lose by two runs is just a brutal moment. It, you know, it all wasn't lost. You're kind of hoping that Stroman could just step up and take care of things. And he, he struggled and it was finally it started to make sense why he was struggling for the first time since really ended up being his worst start since early May. Yeah. He had a, a blister developing on his index finger. So that would, that would explain why, why he was having issues and not looking like his normal self. So, so that was a frustrating way to, 
not get to 500 for the first time in quite some time if they had won that game. It would have been nice to have that positive momentum coming, you know, coming off that huge win on Saturday, uh, flying back with, you know, two games over the, over the Cardinals. Uh, instead, they had a really ugly taste in their mouth. And, you know, Trey Mancini, by all accounts, is a great guy. Every, every story I've ever read, he's a cancer survivor, a uh, really great story. He cannot play first base. I mean, it just, it has to stop. It's costing him games, costing him critical games. So I don't think we'll be seeing him hopefully at first base ever again. It's it's weird. First base has been an issue for the Cubs that they've been trying to address since the offseason. They signed two different free agent first basemen. Technically, they signed three, if you include uh, Eric Hosmer, Trey Mancini, and Cody Bellinger. Very, and they still, very stocks like Yeah, they still can't figure out what, what to do at first base. Uh, you know, Obviously, Hosmer was released. Mancini, I don't know if he's going to be released or what they're going to do there. But I think, you know, right now, Bellinger is is their best bet at first. But, you know, he's a plus defender in center field that you're taking away. Right now, Mike Tockman is is working out fairly well covering center. Okay. But I I don't think that's a long-term solution. So, you know, I've heard, I've heard people suggest that, you know, maybe Christopher Morrell needs to start taking reps at first to find him a permanent spot in the defense because he's kind of ro- rotating all over the place. Um, that doesn't seem like a, a real natural fit to me. I'm wondering if, you know, Jan Gomes or Miguel Amaya, since since they are definitely plus offensive players right now, I think maybe to get both of them in the lineup somehow, Besides uh, clogging up the DH spot, maybe maybe one of them or both can start taking some reps at first base, seeing how they fare, because it couldn't be much worse with, with Mancini out there right now. So those are some things to look to uh, going forward. So overall, did you did you watch any of the London series at all? Or did you catch- uh, so I tuned in to – I saw part of Justin Steele's game. I – Ended up turning it on because for some reason I thought I thought the Sox were on at at one. Mm. So and I, I didn't see them on on uh, you know NBC Sports. So I flipped over to Fox and I was like, oh, that's right, London series. So I'm like, oh, I'll check this out for a while. You know, it's cool. It's you know, might check it out. It's a game in London. Notice that the dimensions were like three thirty down the line versus like three oh five. So yeah, I think they were uh, just over three hundred last time. It was three eighty. Yeah center i think this was yeah. closer to 400 at least so yeah so i'm like i'll leave this on for a while and you know justin Steele was just taking care of business so i watched like three innings and shut it off and then i turned it on on sunday and um it was already four nothing cubs and which is with as bad as the cardinals were and marcus stroman on the mound i was like oh, i'm not that's gonna fucking invest any time in this so <laughs> I, I flipped it off and uh, turned on some music. I wish I had done the same thing you did there, but I, I chose poorly at that moment. Wordhole Media. <laughs>